What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, and thanks so much for tuning in for another video. That's right, we are back today with another great, quick, and easy recipe. We are going to make a chicken and broccoli alfredo. This dish took me no time to put together, so it is a great option for a weeknight meal, weekend meal, anytime meal, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, YouTube, I have all of my ingredients for today's video. Yes, like I said, we are making a chicken alfredo, but it actually doesn't take many ingredients. We're gonna just saute up a little bit of onion, garlic, add in some heavy whipping cream and seasonings, throw in some Parmesan cheese, along with a little bit of chicken and broccoli. Yes, frozen, cause y'all know we like it quick and easy over here, and a little bit of bow tie pasta. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so before we even jump into prepping our chicken, let's go ahead and get our noodles going. So to this pot of boiling water, I'm gonna add just a little bit of vegetable oil. That will keep the noodles from sticking together when they go in. And then we'll also go ahead and add plenty of salt. And then let's go ahead and dump in our bow tie pasta. All right, so we'll let those finish up cooking probably about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and get those drained off and go from there. And in our other pan, we're just gonna get a little bit of vegetable oil preheating for our chicken. All right, so I got my chicken washed and ready to go. The first thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It doesn't matter. But this is one of my favorite, favorite secret ingredients to add to any dish because it will just punch up the flavor. It kind of adds like a extra meatiness or something. Just trust me when I say add this. Um, also, I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of celery seed. Y'all know this is something I love. A little bit of this roasted garlic and herb seasoning. And then lastly, a little bit of granulated onion. What I'm gonna say? What I'm gonna say? Make sure you season that food good. Make sure you season that food good. And that's it, and that's all. All right, let's go ahead and drain our pasta. You don't wanna rinse the pasta off. They say it's bad. I think it washes off the starch so your sauce doesn't stick. So just go ahead and drain it. And then I just like to put it back in the pot that I was using to kind of let it drain on off the rest of the way. All right, look how good and seasoned that looks. Remember we had our oil preheating right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop those in. They're pretty thin pieces of chicken, so probably within 10 minutes, they'll be ready to roll. All right, so this is that frozen broccoli. Today I actually went ahead and unthawed it. And the reason is that I actually am gonna add some peppers and onions also. Um, I know I didn't have this on the ingredient list earlier, but I had these left over from something earlier in the week, so I said, why not add them? Um, the broccoli's fully cooked, so once these get a little tender, I'll add the broccoli and then season everything up at once. All right, so quick update. I went ahead and pulled my chicken off. It's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and chop that up. My peppers and onions are sauteing up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my broccoli. And then let's go ahead and add a couple seasonings. I'm gonna do the mix it up salt seasoning. I'm gonna add in some black pepper. And then just a little bit more granulated onion. All right, so in this same pan where I sauteed up the peppers, the onions, and the broccoli, we're gonna go in with a little bit of minced garlic. This is gonna be where we're gonna start building the foundation for our sauce. You don't wanna cook this too, too long cause garlic burns easily and it'll get kind of bitter on you. Next thing we're gonna go in with is a little bit of heavy whipping cream and then a little bit of Parmesan cheese and that's pretty much it. Look how good that's done thickened up. 
Let's go ahead, add back in our chicken and our broccoli, add in a few noodles, and this is a done dish. Well, here we are, a finished product, a quick chicken and broccoli alfredo. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and definitely subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have on your post notifications so you can be the first to know when I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching.